everyone, welcome to One More Pen. In response to one of my uh, earlier videos, somebody asked me to do a comparison of the uh, Schaefer blue inks that I have. And I only have three Schaefer blue inks. I don't know if there are more, actually. They, I find them quite difficult to find. And uh, what I have is just standard Schaefer blue, Schaefer blue black, and then I have this uh, Renegade Blue that I recently found, which is quite nice. So we'll do, I'll do an ink swatch with each of these. And then perhaps what I'll do is I'll throw in the Parker Washable Blue uh, Quink. Um, just, uh, just for fun, just to see how that compares. My, my feeling is that um, the Parker Washable Blue and Schaefer Blue, that they are, they are very similar. Um, the color is very similar and I also find that these are both very nice inks to use in any pen. They clean out so easily. So I actually find these two inks to be very similar, um, which is the only reason I would throw in the Barker Quink here. But uh, really this is about the, the three Schaefer inks. Now what I think I will do, I've got a endless... Uh, Creative block, all right, tear off notepad. I've had this in my drawer for a while, so I think we'll use this to do the swatches as well as um, this color swatch cards from Werengol, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, I hope I am. So I haven't used these before, I have no idea what they will actually be like. So let's open it up. Well, I'll only need one, so let me take out one card, put the rest aside. So yeah, this is pretty nice. I, I would have loved these to be little individual cards because then um, you could move them around and all of that. So maybe, maybe I'll cut them up into individual cards. And then we have this one, the English Creative Block. I really enjoy the endless notepads. I tend to use them um, standard for for my work, the A5 um, endless journals. Um, I think it's the the recorder, I think it's called. And I just absolutely love the journals. And I, I prefer the ones that have, don't have um, the dots or anything, just blank paper. I, I find that that for me is the absolute best. And I'm, I absolutely do not like lines on my paper at all now. Um, and it's funny, if, if I use another pen, like a ballpoint or something like that, then the lines are fine. But for a fountain pen, I actually just want it blank because it means that I can change the size of my handwriting. I can draw things and, and it just makes sense. And if you have lines, yeah, it, it just doesn't work for me. So let's start with the Schaefer Standard Blue and uh, then we will move to the others. So to do the swatches I'll be using your basic cotton buds and I know they're not really eco-friendly but um, I have a box of them so when these are finished I'll, I'll definitely move to something else more eco-friendly. That's a first pass. Do a second pass to get a sense of what a really wet nib might look like and then some extra ink at the bottom here. Okay, there we go. Now with the dipping. And let's see, this would be Schaefer Blue. Nothing more actually that I can 
say about this ink right now except that it's it's a really lovely color and I use this um, a lot actually because it's such a really safe and pleasant ink just put this one aside for now and we do then we do the swatch on the on these cards as well so let me I'll first do the writing so this is going to be Schaefer and if you can hear the dogs in the background I apologize there's nothing I can do about that uh, I do have these neighbors with these dogs that just go absolutely insane every now and then all right let's do get some ink on here let's see what this is going to do and a second pause all right this ink does have some sheen to it not not a lot but i can you could probably see on the the neck of the bottle there that you have a little bit of of sheen there we go and I'll put this one aside for now. And I think while I have um, these ones here, maybe we should do the second one, which is going to be the Schaefer Blue Black. Um, another one that I just absolutely love. I found it by accident. There was only one bottle available, and so of course I had to get it. Right, I just cleaned off the dip pin. And let's open this guy up. And this is also Schaefer, of course. back and let me just clean off the dip in quickly it's so much easier if you do it immediately and uh, let's do a swab quickly get a clean cotton bud and here we go dip that in the ink that's very light let me get some decent decent amount of ink on there I'm surprised at how this ink goes on here it's, it looks very light actually so I'll get a for the second part let's get some decent amount of ink on there so we can get the full sort of spectrum of what this ink is capable of And again, this is uh, like just like the standard Schaefer Blue. I just find it to be a really safe ink with any pen. It's um, it just doesn't cause any problems. It's easy to clean. It's just really lovely to use. Actually, I forgot to do uh, a swap on the English pad, so I'll take this off and let's do this as well. So okay, not a problem. It's what we have for. So, some ink on there. Shave for blue black. Just wiping down my pen and then we can do cotton see so get a cotton swap for this one I'll, I'll use the same one 
very interesting that the ink goes on a lot darker over here maybe, maybe it's just the way that I'm doing it it's very possible but um, I do feel a difference in these two um, these two papers um, shade for blue black I'm going to take this one off as well carefully and just put it aside for a second so it can start to dry and we'll come back to these I really love how this is drying you can already see some yeah, the shading there's a lot of sheen on this one actually uh, very very nice so the next one we're going to look at is the Schaefer Renegade Blue I was surprised to find this one I didn't even know that these inks existed uh, I found the the blue together with the green um, I seem to have had a bit of a ink mishap here but anyway I found this one together with a, a similar um, green bottle and it's a it's a very unique blue I think and um, a very nice color okay so let's open this one up I don't want to mess on the swatch pad so there we go oh yes and these these bottles have an, an interesting very nice feature on the inside um, there is a sort of a compartment and if you're out of ink or if the bottle is running low what you could do um, let me show you just I just need to do that and now you will have like a I don't know like an ink well on that side and it's angled these the, the glass goes down the side, oh, I'm missing ink, and let me just, I have to close it to show you, um, I don't know how visible that would be, but the, but it runs down the side like that, so you could, it, it's it's shaped so that you can dip your fountain pen, and so that the, um, the nib could, you know, it's shaped for that purpose, and so even if your, your ink is running low in the bottle, there's a, there's a nice way to still get the last, you know, few drops of ink out of there so that's lovely but we don't need that today okay so this will be let's do let's do the writing first this is going to be Schaefer Renegade Blue. Alright, and let me wipe off my pen and put it aside. And let's get a clean cotton bud for this. going on very light, let me just get some more ink on there there we go and um I think the Renegade Blue and the Standard Blue, that's that's where the comparison really is. I mean, the Blue-Black is a very, uh, very different color. So, uh, okay, let me just put this back in its box. It's the first time I've seen this, uh, the Renegade Blue, and I haven't seen them any bottles since. So I really hope that I will find them again. Um, the green which maybe I'll do a 
I'll, do, I'll, I'll, I'll definitely swatch that at some point, but the green is absolutely lovely. And I have the ink all over the fingers now, which is, well, it's fine. All part of the outfit. Now, <laughs> I put the blue away and I need to swatch it, of course. So. So I'll take it out quickly. Won't wait, waste too much time with this. So on the endless paper, which I think, if I'm correct, the endless is the Maui River paper. I think. No, no, no. We have to swatch it first. Why am I in such a hurry to put the ink away? I wonder. So it goes on really smooth. Lovely. I think that will do it. Now I can definitely put this ink away. Get it out of the way so we can have a look at these inks. And um, I said maybe I'll do the Parker Quink Washable Blue. Although this is really a Schaefer video, but I, I do think because it's such a uh, an ink that's so close to the Schaefer. Um, I really do think it would be worth doing it. So, and uh, these ones, I'll, I'll definitely cut them up into individual um, cards later on. And I just can't seem to be doing this without messing all over the place. So, I'm gonna get ink on these cards. So, let me open this ink first. There we go. And you could see probably quite a bit of sheen on the neck of this bottle. So this is an ink that can sheen a bit, uh, which is lovely. So let's bring this back. And I think uh, let me get a clean cotton bud and we'll do this watch. going on very light the first time around but and the second pause and I just want to get a little bit of extra ink on there there we go and while I'm swatching so that I don't forget let me do this one as well and since most I've got a lot of ink at the top there. Let's do that. All right. Now for the writing. Let's start with this one. This would now be poker. Washable blue. And we'll put that one aside for now. Oh, 
Popper Quink washable blue. And let me get this out of the way and clean off my pen. So I think what I will do, well, maybe we'll have a quick look now while the inks are still fairly wet and um, then I will let them dry off um, and then we can have a much closer look at them. So these ones, uh, really nice. I think the, I mean, the, uh, it's difficult to, to say because I'm trying to compare the, the Parker washable blue with the Schaefer blues and the standard blue and renegade blue are actually quite close and when the inks were wet my sense was that the renegade blue is actually a little bit lighter than the standard blue and it looks like that if you look at how it went on first but then uh, with a little bit more ink it actually looks darker and even in the writing it looks a bit darker but I think I will let these inks dry and then we will have a second close look at them and uh, compare them well i think these have dried sufficiently for us to have a closer look at them so i just mean to wash my hands as well and well even with a decent wash um, the inky fingers remain all right so here we go let's look at the wearing gall uh, paper first we have the standard shade for blue. It's got, um, depending on the angle that you are looking at it, um, it's got a decent amount of sheen on there. Wait, hang a moment. I think I can get some better sunlight on this for us. Now this might be better. So shade for blue, decent amount of sheen on there. Lovely shading. It is. It is a nice blue ink, like like all of them. The Renegade Blue, um, not as much sheen, which I'm a little bit surprised at. But there, there is definitely sheen around the edges of, the, especially the darker um, part of the of the ink swatch. So let me see. I don't know if if I do this, whether a different angle will help. Don't know how much we can get there but it has a decent amount of sheen but more specifically around the edges not so much uh, in the middle like the standard shafer blue the blue black is an interesting color it's almost i almost feel like it could be a green it has a definitely a hint of green in there but very very nice and i can tell you that when i use it well if you look at the the writing the it's definitely it doesn't it's not that light i mean that's that's a very light ink swatch there initially but it comes out um quite nice and dark it's a very um i don't want to say washed out color but definitely not a it doesn't pop that much and and i like that it's this really understated uh, blue black and then if we look at the Parker Quink which I mean this is really about the Schaefer inks but I threw it in there just for comparison it, it is a lighter blue certainly than the two Schaefer inks so it's definitely lighter it has a decent amount of sheen on there uh, uh, good shading so very very nice it's not I initially thought that the Quick would be very similar to um, these two Schaefer Blues, but it's actually not. It, it definitely is its very own unique shade and composition of blue. Um, these two Schaefer Blue inks are much closer to one another than to the Parker Quink, for sure. Um, maybe if we look at the... Let's use the... If we look at the endless paper and do a comparison here let's put that there so here we have the so the standard shade for blue and you can see the shading is really good and there's a very nice sheen as well around especially around the edges and this uh, the now the Parker Quink very similar to that on this paper 
But if we just put the Renegade Blue in there for comparison. So, so the Renegade Blue, not as much sheen as the Schaefer Blue, but um, slightly darker, I believe. And definitely a very unique shade of blue. So they are not the same. I didn't think that they would be, but they, they are quite different. I really enjoy both of them. I, I, I really cannot pick uh, between these two colors. I use them in different pens and I just, I love them in whatever pen I have them. The Schaefer Blue Black then, very different than these others. Uh, much more dark and like you can see maybe somewhat of a green tint to it. Um, it has some sheen, not not a lot, but some sheen, very very nice shading. Um, but even on the writing, if you were to look a lot closer, you would see uh, good shading, but a lot of sheen on the right on the edges of of the letters forming there. Okay, well, this is my comparison of my Schaefer inks. Uh, well, the Schaefer blue inks, the ones that I have. I don't know if there are other Schaefer blue inks out there. Um, Schaefer seems to be quite hard to come by where I am. Uh, you don't find them too easily. You have to wait for them to come back into stock, etc. So um, perhaps you are aware of other other uh, Schaefer blue colors. Uh, let me know. I would love to, to hear about them and um, see what they look like if, if there are others. And I think in perhaps in an upcoming video I might uh, do a comparison of the of the black inks. We'll see. I've done some comparisons before, but I think with the the paper that I'm using here, um, I do think that it offers a very unique um, perspective. And here where I have some sun on the paper now, and it's, it's maybe giving a different perspective on what they look like. And I hope you can see that. Well, thank you very much for watching today. I look forward to our next video together and I hope you have a great week. Cheers everyone. Thank you.